Hi ladies and welcome back to my channel and welcome to those who are new to me. I am Nicolia Williams and I'm a personal development coach teaching busy women to conquer their chaos and accomplish their goals. And today I want to share a story that is really near and dear to my heart um, because it talks about the power of positive thinking, which a lot of us are lacking. And so I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Roger Bannister, but Roger Bannister was the very first male or first person in general to run a four minute mile. His entire story challenges our conventional thinking and thought process, and I'd like to share that with you today. So Roger Bannister, um, back in 1954, decided that he wanted to set out and run a mile in four minutes, which sounds crazy because it translates to 15 miles in one hour, which is like past human capability, so we thought. Prior to 1950, several athletes had attempted the four minute mile. And no matter how many males tried this, nobody could break this four minute record. And so um, there were several young men that, you know, continued to try and then eventually gave up. And they said, you know what? This four minute mile is not possible. Even science backed that up and stated that the four minute mile was unheard of. There was no way that a human could run the four minute mile. Well, Roger Bannister decided that he was going to do as much research as possible because he wanted to prove that he could. This was a goal of his and he just wanted to do it. So he did scientific research. He did a lot of physical training to prepare his body and mentally prepare his mind. And on May 6th of 1954, Roger Bannister set out to run the four minute mile. Now, as if the four minute mile wasn't already extreme, the day that he decided to run, there just were ideal weather conditions. There was rain, I think it was a little slippery, there was a ton of wind, all of these reasons to, again, justify why he shouldn't really be going for this beating this record. But he decided, he put his mind to it, he was ready to do it, and he was confident that he was going to do it. Roger Bannister run, ran a mile in under four minutes. It was crazy, it was actually three minutes and 59 seconds. So he beat the record like right on the dot. And everyone was raving about this process. They could not believe that Roger Bannister had re reached this record that apparently was said to be impossible, right? After Roger Bannister ran this four minute mile, multiple athletes came forward and said, I'm gonna run the mile, I'm gonna run the mile. To this day, the four minute mile is almost seen as a standard. If you can run the four minute mile, it's crazy. And there have been over 1,500 athletes to this day that have run the four under four minutes for a mile, which again is crazy. So back just, you know, 70 years ago, the four minute mile was considered impossible. But one person set out to show that it wasn't impossible. One person believed so much in their own unique dream that it caused momentum and a shift, not only in science and research, but a shift in other people believing that it was possible. There was another gentleman who had, who had really tried for years to run the four minute mile. He, was, he got the closest and decided, yeah, that's not possible. And when Roger Bannister did it, he went back and did it simply because he saw that it was possible and started to believe that it was possible. He went back and attempted the very same goal. And that just shows the power of belief. Since that day, the shortest mile to date has been three minutes and 43 seconds. And so what does running have to do with personal development or thought process? The process that Roger Bannister went through challenged our thoughts. It challenged the beliefs. The gentleman who believed once that even though he really wanted it and it was no longer possible and kind of threw the goal away, once he saw that it was possible, he went back to do it, trained himself, and he ran the four minute mile. Success leaves clues. When somebody else is successful, it shows and proves to other people that they can also be successful. And so what I'm here to share with you today is when you set out to accomplish your goals, there are gonna be a million reasons why you can't do it. And for those of you that know me, you know I do not like the word can't. There's gonna be hundreds of reasons why you can't do it. 
your job requires too much attention. Your kids need a lot of attention. Um, all these, I don't want, you don't have time, you don't have money, you don't have all these things. And there's going to be millions of reasons that you can identify of why you can't accomplish your goal. But I'm here to tell you that all those reasons are irrelevant. If you believe up here that you are capable of accomplishing it and you are willing to put in the dedication, the consistency, the effort, the hard work, you can accomplish it. Anytime I feel like something can't be done, I remember that there's other people that could do it. And even if there isn't, it still doesn't mean it can't be done. Does it mean that there's going to be hard work? Does it mean that it's going to be easy? Of course not. You have to put in the effort. And if your dreams are that important to you, you will make a way. Just like when people told Roger Bannister, you can't run the four minute mile. It's never been done. And he said I, he could. And just like on the day of May 6th of 1954, when the weather conditions were bad and they said, you can't run a four minute mile in the, these weather conditions. And he said, I can. It all started with right up here with him believing in himself. There is so much power in our brain. And I've shared multiple videos about it. But affirmations work. When I think back to me publishing my very first book, I didn't even have a title. I didn't even have a cover. I wasn't published. I didn't even have it on a distribution website. Nothing. But every day when I sat down to write, I recited, I, Nicolia, am a best-selling author. Did I believe it at first? Probably not. But the more and more I said it, the more I started to embrace it, the more I started to say, you know what? I can really become a best-selling author if I desire. That can really be within my reach. And the same for you, whatever your goal looks like, whatever it is, it's in your reach. You just have to believe. You just have to believe. And if you're feeling like you can't believe or you're feeling like it's still impossible, remember, they also told Roger Bannister 70 years ago that his dream was impossible. So your dream can set the standard for other people. Your dream can open doors and gateways for other women or people to understand that they can do the same thing. So do not use excuses, especially don't let your mind be an excuse. Change your thought process, reframe your thinking, and start pushing towards the goal that you desire to accomplish. And when you're feeling discouraged, just remember that whenever something feels impossible, impossible is broken down to mean I'm possible. It is very possible for you to accomplish those things that you desire. Never forget that. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you guys have an amazing day. And as always, continue with clarity. Bye.